Welcome to your weekday cup of the word. We're in Revelation chapter 10. We've seen these seven uh, trumpets of war. We've seen six of them so far. And the message is very clear. The pagan nation of Rome that has rejected Christ and persecuted his people is going to fall. And in such a time of horrific uh, difficulty and torment and pain and national judgment, John would have had the same question that many of the saints would have had, which is, what will happen to Jesus' gospel, the message? Will it continue to go forth as the world is going through such turmoil? Chapter 10 and chapter 11 will answer that question. Chapter 10, we see Jesus as a, a, a great angel coming down. This is almost definitely got to be Jesus because it has the rainbow like you see in the throne scene uh, around his head. It, he has fiery feet like what we saw in Revelation chapter 1. He speaks with the voice of a lion, Jesus being the lion of Judah, and he speaks with the seven thunders of the Spirit. Uh, Jesus comes with two messages to John. One is, the mystery is finished. That is, I will complete my mission. Uh, it, will, it won't die off. And the other is, he gives John a book, says, eat it. It's going to be sweet to taste, but bitter to your stomach. That is, it's going to be a great message, but when we see what it takes for Jesus' gospel to continue to succeed uh, and overcome Rome, it's going to be a bitter pill to swallow and see such devastation. Uh, the fall of Rome was not a pretty thing, and many, many people were affected by their immorality uh, of a pagan nation that rejected Christ. But Christ says, my mystery will be finished. I have more message for you to share, John. And that will bring us to chapter 11, where we get to see what does happen to the word of Christ during that time of persecution. That's your daily cup, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.